The Friends of Art began under the directorship of Lulu Miller, the second director of the Muskegon Museum of Art and the second female director in the U.S. of an art museum. Under her direction, the group began in 1921. Their legacy is one that's hard to match. I think they surprised themselves, they've surprised us definitely. In 1922, they worked with Lulu Miller to have a reception to really promote the museum and in which they drew 2,000 people to the museum and had to work in sessions because there were so many. In 1929, the Friends expanded what they were able to do for the support of the museum with the direct purchase of artwork for the permanent collection, a still life painting by French artist Albert Andre. The Friends followed their first painting in 1931 with Yacht Club Pier by Tunis Ponson. Ponson had close ties to the Muskegee Museum of Art, beginning some of his first art lessons right here in the Hackley Art Gallery. He moved to Chicago in 1924, but would return to Muskegon periodically. So, in 1931, when he had an exhibition here at the museum, the Friends purchased this now iconic painting for our own permanent collection. The Friends continued to work closely with museum staff, bringing in additional works as the museum's need changed over the years. In the 1940s, they acquired some important 20th century American sculptures including James Richmond Barté's Feral Banga, a beautiful piece by prominent African-American sculptor, and also Flight of Europa by Paul Manship, again another important American piece brought into our collection through the generosity of the Friends of Art. In the 1950s, the Friends contributed Japanese woodblock prints, and then as the years continued, photographs by Ansel Adams, works by West Michigan artists, and prints by European and American printmakers. When the museum needed additional funds to complete a purchase, the Friends also proved a vital resource for raising the monies needed for several important acquisitions. Another Friends of Art venture was the Rental Gallery, initiated in January 1959. With a modest beginning of 25 framed reproductions, the rentals were immediately oversubscribed and reservations were made months in advance. The Rental Gallery generated the stream of income until 1995, when the remaining inventory and financial assets totaling over $10,000 were transferred to the museum. Through their gifts and programs, the Friends of Art established a lasting legacy here at the Muskegon Museum of Art. Now, in their 100th year, they still continue to provide art education to our community. The Art Smart series is one that is hard to replace. They've shared in-depth perspectives of staff, of other scholars, and many of their own who have done great research on pieces within our own collection and things abroad. They've done trips, they've done tours, they've done many things along the years. This volunteer group is one that's hard to replace. It's one that has made us a better museum and shared with the community what one volunteer group can do to change and express and celebrate a museum.